guys, welcome to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today it's on the minigame Conquer. So before I get into how to set, set up this plugin, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to this video made by Numero Uno. You can click it now, there'll be like a link in the, in the middle of the uh, screen. And this video shows you how to make your server 1.8 and 1.7 compatible. So this is really useful if some of your users um, have updated and others haven't because uh, maybe they didn't want to. So that's pretty cool. The only disadvantage is you can't use the 1.8 items, but that's all right. Um, yeah, he explains it really well. He helped me out, so if you're watching Numero Uno, thanks for the tutorial. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this plugin. So, um, as I said, it's called Conquer by Instance Labs, uh, another one from his mini games library, and basically recreates domination on co or conquest from Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty. So, um, what you're going to want to do is create your arena. Let's do this first. So, uh, CQ is the main command. And what we're going to want to do first is uh, set the main lobby. So, I'm going to do this over here where the chicken is standing. Uh, and do CQ sets main lobby. So, this is. Um, doesn't matter uh, what arena. This is for everyone. It's probably best you put your signs here. So, I'm just going to build. A, I don't know, just a, a wall. Look how fabulous this looks. Um, there you go. We can put the uh, join sign there. So we're also going to want to set a lobby for the actual arena. So CQ and set lobby. And then we're going to call it YT. Um, so yeah, we've set the uh, waiting lobby. Now we set the spawns um, for each team. You could have multiple teams, but uh, I'm going to only go with two because it's uh, just easier, really. So CQ and set, set spawn. And then. Uh, the arena name, YT. So then you just do that twice on each spawn point. I made them quite far far apart. But uh, the checkpoints are quite large. Let me just have a drink really quickly. Oh, I've been trying to do this video and um, keep doing it wrong. So uh, my mouth was dry. Anyway, uh, we've set the uh, spawns down. Now we need to set the high and low points, the bounds. So um, CQ, set bounds, uh, high, YT. Uh, ooh. Other way around, sorry. So, uh, wipe the arena first and then high. It's up here, and then we're going to jump over here and just dig down a bit. And this, this can be our low bound. So, it knows if you leave the arena, so you don't have to put like a messy, a messy wall around it or uh, like a glass cage like in uh, Hunger Games. And did that zombie just fall down? Yes, he did. Right. A couple more things to do now is set the minimum max players. So, um, CQ set max players uh, and for YT it's going to be 2 and min players is also going to be 2 so just, just me and Link Park there um, you can make the arena for VIPs only if they've donated maybe it's a special arena um, or something so set arena VIP YT uh, no false this is for the, uh, the common folk <laughs> who haven't donated <coughs> Still a bit ill uh, from the weekend, as you can probably tell. And yeah, all we need to do is save it, and uh, that, then we'll be done. So CQ, save arena, YT. There we go. So we've set everything for the arena YT, apart from the um, the checkpoints. I can't believe I forgot that. So CQ, set checkpoint, and then YT. So this gives you a dragon egg, and when you right click this, um, it sets a checkpoint. So they're quite big, so uh, watch out, I'll, I'll set a couple. So uh, there you go, um, one more. So there we go, uh, it's a bit like uh, Conquest from Battlefield 4, there's uh, A, B and C. Uh, so uh, you could even uh, maybe put a flag above it, possibly, that might work. Because if they're different colours, that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. and. Uh, I would definitely recommend saving the arena afterwards. You wouldn't want um, all your lovely hard work to uh, go down the drain. So um, now we've, that we've set three checkpoints, we're going to want to save it again, just just to make s sure. And one more thing before we're ready to go. Um, yeah. All we need to do now is do conquer on the first line and YT on the second. So zero out two. And I am just going to, yeah, I was looking at the console and uh, th these plugins, they're fantastic because they don't have errors. Um, 
I haven't seen any errors with um, these new mini games, libs mini games, that they work really well, which is fantastic. So uh, yeah, Coder who knows what he's doing. So obviously there's classes as usual. <laughs> leave him alone, leave him alone. Uh, so starting at 30 seconds, you can edit these classes in the uh, in in the config. Obviously, it's quite simple. But if you need any help, uh, check out Numero Uno's video. He goes through the config. Um, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. So you can just add more or change these. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll select this one, and uh, <clears throat> it's going to start in 10 seconds. Uh, the box is going to choose default. <coughs> Sorry about that. And there's obviously leave the game. So we got this lovely. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you up to? There you go. Right. Um, you might want to remove mobs. So you get this lovely uh, armor. And what you have to do, you have to uh, stay on here for five seconds. And what I really like is there's beacons. So if I hadn't have put these on here, uh, I have to do it with world edit, I'm sure. But uh, hello. Oh yeah, one. Uh, th there's probably a beacon, and uh, if it shines the correct colour, that will be amazing. Um, come on, shine. Or well, did that did that feature come in 1.8? Yeah, it did. So, uh, hmm. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. I like that. So uh, all you have to do is just uh, stand on them for five seconds, and they will. Uh, you'll catch them, and then you'll start getting points, like in uh, Battlefield 4. About full three, whatever you're into, and then Link Park is also trying to capture them, so he could stop the capture. Um, I'm just going to get out of game mode so I can uh, hit him. Is he in uh, God? Okay, right. Uh, not sure why I can't hit him, but uh, yeah, this is how it works. Uh, obviously, I'm getting more points. Game mode zero. So yeah, the beacon's cool, so you always know where they are, and he's going to start capturing it, but uh, I'm going to stop. It looks a bit like the Russian flag. So, um, god mode on. Turn it off, and if he starts attacking me, like so, he's obviously got uh, the other class. I've just died, and uh, yeah. So I respawn, and he is going to continue capping um, the base, and they're going to get one point. There we go. Uh, this plug works really well. So they've got one, two, and you can kill him um, if you want. So uh, this plug is really, really good. Uh, check out um, that video on Numero Uno's channel, how to update your server, because uh, it's really useful. I enjoyed it. It was good. Anyway, I'm off now. I should stop talking. My throat's still a bit sore. And I will be doing the Flying Cars mini game very shortly. Um, I think someone requested that, but it's in the mini, mini games library. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, check out more of Instance Labs mini games. I've got a playlist which has them all in. So yeah, ta-ra.